Hey, yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays. Let me check. Okay, 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 there we go. Today again on Abyssal Reef and Ladder Edition, this time with a TVT which has to be awesome. So on the top left hand side for UVF, it's Shodan. And on the bottom right hand side it's me, the Red Terran for Pro Kings, Alex Asher. Terran decal hype. Double Terran decal hype. But mine is nicer. Yeah, mine is nicer. I got the the three X. Oh, what's he doing? <gasps> barracks. That's that's wild. He's going for barracks, man. Who knows? Double barracks. Potentially gas. I don't know. Uh oh. So what should we do? Here? What should we do? I don't know, but I'm going for gas first, Rex. And <laughs> if I don't scout this, which probably I won't, then uh oh. But let's see, let let's see what what's happening here. I don't know, but it could be really funny. So yeah, what's what's the point here? What's the point? That's a big question. What's the Point. Well, Reaper. Okay, I see Reaper, and for me, expand, and he goes double gas, of course. Maybe no, only two barracks. So potentially, back at home, he will get a factory, and I think that's one of the newer games. Where uh, after after the was it Maru versus Gumiho? I think so. Where no, or I don't know. Some wild TVTs where every game was crazy. Reaper against Reaper, and ooh, that's bad for me. I need to, I need to. Come on, why am I not? Oh my goodness. <gasps> now I can win? Yeah! Oh, I got the Reaper, that feels good. And there you go. So <laughs> if you lose the first Reaper, that's instant GG, basically, for this push. Uh, basically. Not necessarily, but yeah, basically. Oh, I need to be so careful here. Just checked how many barracks, and I, I need to pull SVs. Yeah, there we go. Mm, there we go. So let's let's do this. Come on. He could float with the barracks in the air to have high ground vision. That would be so smart. He's not doing it. Oh no, the SVs are not attacking. <gasps> that is really bad now because the Reaper might survive. Oh my goodness. So I get it. I still can defend potentially. Oh, that was. This could have gone. So so wrong, I have to say that. This is really dangerous. So I'm repairing those SCVs, that's good. Back at home is going for the factory. So still this game is on, I'm going for a cyclone there. Huh. Is he turning back? I think it looks like. Ah he's just gathering his resources, his units. Can he jump up there? Three Reaper against this force? I think he cannot. And now there's the Cyclone. The Cyclone is a very strong unit. But he goes in, finds some juicy SCVs, which is exactly what he needs to not fall back too far behind. Oh, but that's risky. Losing one Reaper there. Okay, he needs to turn back. He might lose another one. No, he's, he's smart. He knows what to do there. Oh, maybe he goes up there. Nope. Three idle SCVs. Also not really nice. And oh, I might just lose there. <gasps> Don't lose the uh, Reaper. Okay. Oh, that's some nice micro man. Ooh, wrecked. But he got a cyclone himself. A second cyclone on the way as well as the Viking. He scans, sees that I got exactly the same than he got, except for the one barracks, of course. But hey, yep, whatever. Uh, but he got the high ground vision cyclone. Oh, not reacting in time. That's bad. I don't think I can do this. Or can I? Potentially I can. Oh, knocking myself back. That's bad. But I can delay potentially the space for a little bit. That would be nice. But now it looks like I just might lose here. Double cyclone. Yeah, I can't. I can't win this fight. Ah, oh, the cyclone escapes. Maybe. That's nice. 
potentially could lock on to deal some damage on the barracks. I mean, you know, everything, a single bit, can can be important later on. You never know. Here goes the third command center as well for him. So after all that, it's so damn equal. I just have some more SCVs and a little bit more army, but that's it. So he's not out of the game so far. He still can do this if he wants to. So that's that's the problem. That's that's the big problem. Ah, and he goes up. Uh oh, maybe not the best thing to do. He might get the cyclone. Oh, the Viking blocked the cyclone. That's that's really bad. Let's see what happens here. He kills even the Reaper. Oh, he's so lucky. I can't. Wow. So. Yeah, he escapes. He did so well. Almost losing that Cyclone as well. That was a really nice trade. Really, really nice trade. I don't know why I had so many. At least I got the tank now, so I should be safe. Where is this? You got a Liberator right now. Did I get a Liberator? I don't know. What's happening right there? I don't know. You got a Raven. Raven is bad for me. Raven are so powerful. So this is the new auto turret, which depletes after 10 minutes, uh, seconds instead of... Wow, 10 minutes! What? <laughs> seconds, I mean, instead of 7. Uh, but still deals a lot of damage. I think it should be the same. The DPS is lower, but the overall damage... Is, I think it stays the same. But I don't know, for sure, I don't know. So... Ooh, look at that! I'm going for a mech! Because why the hell not? I'm feeling so confident right now, or maybe bored. In this game, I felt like that. That I was like, screw that, I'm going for Mac. You know what? Why play Bio if I can't try out Mac? And Mac can be powerful if you know what you're doing. Which I'm not. No, I, I don't know. I'm not a Mac god, I'm not Avalo. I have no clue whatsoever, I have to admit. I just don't know. So, the double. Double Hellion here for potential harass or just scouting in this case. And as there is nothing to kill. I got the space up. I should maybe get a sensor turret, some depots, one, two tanks, and maybe a couple of Hellions or, or Cyclones there just for basic defense reasons. Uh, bam. Why would I go in again? That's so stupid. So here are the Vikings on patrol. Um, I should maybe lift those factories around so that's that's that and he's going for bio stim pack definitely bio but he has also a lot of vikings and a raven so with the raven uh yeah he's definitely in charge in in terms of air control that's good for him there we go. Finally a siege tank on that position. This siege tank is a little bit... I don't know. I would like to see it there and the other siege tank like here. Have some depot wall around here. That would be nice. And then of course the sensor turret. Does he know I'm going back? No, he knows nothing. He's like Jon Snow. But not that yet. Maybe he will die and revive. We will see. This game can can go either way. Oops, spoiler alert, sorry, but seriously, this this is like one year old now. So you should have seen it. Yeah, you should have. If not, it's your own fault. Maybe. I don't know. What's in terms of upgrades? It's looking okay. But not super good. I I'm still recording this, yeah. Okay. So what's going on? He's going for turrets, that's nice. He still does know about my mech, that's so bad. He needs to, to know about mech. If he doesn't know about mech, then how the hell is he going to win with marines and tanks? He needs marauder, he needs tanks, he needs some beef. And I need to land this command center. 
morph. Instant morph to planetary. That's nice. He's scouting around. He's going for some kind of push out, drop, harassment, whatsoever. Maybe he will now know and see. Wait, that's Mac. Uh oh. He's still going for Marines. His upgrade's going on to 2 2. That's nice. But he doesn't know. He just doesn't know. I like the vision he's setting up. So, that's awesome. Second sensor turret. That's fine. I should have. I got some missile turrets here. That's nice. Uh, here would be one better. There are missile turrets. There are missile turrets. So, to drop me will get more difficult. But he still got the Raven. With the Raven PDD drop, bam, bam, bam. But this turret already is a nuisance. So, he's. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> no chance to do anything here. Uh, Worker wise, I'm looking great. I'm going for Vidomites for some random reason. Misclick for sure. And I'm moving out because I'm almost maxed out. So in, I would say when you want to move out, is so you can you can have your first real push out with Mac at around 160 supply. So that that totally is fine. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, the Vikings, the Vikings, no, all the Vikings, uh, that's so bad. Okay, so that's, that's working, uh, I guess, I don't know, I'm, I'm, this position is so bad for me now because I'm pinched between two locations. Uh, maybe I can do something here, he decides to go for the counter attack, he thinks he can handle this. Potentially can. Oh my goodness, those tanks, they need to siege, 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 siege. Oh no. I just went in, killed everything. This base might be super dead. I think it might die. I am sieged now, but he just could drop on top of those tanks because now I lost the Hellions and the Hellbats, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's losing the base, so that's fine, but he goes right on top of the tanks. And that's how you break a position with bio. Just drop on top of it if you can. And in this case, he could. So that's that's not good at all. I was able to kill a base, but in the meantime, I'm losing some of my production here. The liberator survives. That's nice. And he drops on top of this tank now. There are helmets, however, but they are derping around, not dealing any damage. And I don't know if I can do this. Oh, the Hellion! That's nice. I think I hold this somehow. Wow, I really hold. And overall that wasn't too bad. I didn't lose too much. He's going finally into some more... Some more command center, which he definitely needs. But he's moving out again as well. Uh, he has no medivacs left. So that's bad. My internet connection went off. So that's strange that the game still runs. Maybe I'm in offline mode. That could be the case. Okay, Blizzard, well done. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like it. I like it a lot. So I got the high ground. Uh, I mean the the lips vision, the, the air advantage. So he can't do much other than killing one gazer, and that's it. However, shouldn't be a big problem for me. Upgrade advice two two against. 2-2, two, two, that's okay. Oh, those Vikings, no! Wow, I lost no Viking there? Wow, that's lucky. And he's taking damage here. And he can't go up here as well, look at that, oh no. I like, I like Mac, if I play it correctly. I don't know if I do. But here I'm, I'm really defensive with all those turrets. I do have more Vikings, I do have tanks. Hellbats, a Thor, Liberator, maybe one or two Thor would be nice to have. And later on I need some Raven. At some point that's a problem, you need to push out but still be defensive at home. So you need to, <laughs> to, to have enough tanks at home, but as well have enough tanks with your attack, otherwise you just get wiped. Position is so important. And I mean, if I would siege up here, he could attack from three ta uh, ramps uh, locations. That would be so bad. I like that he's doing this kind of move, killing the turrets to be able to drop. But the Vikings, 
they don't last long against those Liberator because they are so low. And now we need to go back. Uh oh, those tanks. Pew pew pew! One tank dies. And here we go, this is my little push out. Might force me to live. Mm, Hellbat, do they have blue flame? I don't know. There's the other attack. Uh, I don't know if they have blue flame. Nope. Ah, that's a nice attack. But I still have tanks here. And some tank there. He can deal nice damage. So that's not bad. But this location is looking good for me. The supply tells the story of this game so far. And here come the liberations of oh my goodness. He's dealing lots of damage, but at what cost? I mean, most things he killed were some SCVs. Wow, quite a lot of SCVs to be honest. Oh, this Thor not doing too well here. And some depots. Yeah, that's it. Not too good to be to be honest. I can rebuild, that's for sure. But I need more SCVs. I need more SCVs. I need more mining. So far my income is very low and that's bad. Oh no, all the medics might die. Yep, it dies. Liberation... Widow mines for some reason. The thing is, widow mines are heavily underestimated. At some point, they, the, the splash damage, the splash burst damage, especially against marines, can be so nice in combination with tanks. This can be really good. Can. Doesn't have to, but it can. And the, the problem is I don't see those bases. I don't know for now. So I still think, hmm, maybe... Maybe he doesn't have any bases scattered around. And that's a risky assumption to make. So... We will see. There he goes. Oh, those tanks will probably die. Oh yeah, he just chews through that force. And that's a nice little win for him. Instant cancel. Of course. Never risk it. Those widow mines can be nice because he never will anticipate it. I guess. So if he goes in, that could be difficult for him. He has a lot of a lot of barracks. He finally gets Marauder. Um, but I'm sieging this location now. Now I found him. And the big question is, can he win this? I don't know. He goes in, there are a liberator. There's a widow mine even, look at that. BAM! Okay, he didn't do too much to be honest. But hey! I did something. And it looks like I barely can hold this. So that's not too bad. Oh no, what are you doing, your tanks? Don't lose them like that. At least he holds. Oh no, the Liberator, yes, of course. One down. Second one down, third one. That's bad, now he falls apart. My mining is looking better now again. Ah, uh, he tries to scoop around, but... Mm. Eh. I don't think this will work. There are Liberator, tanks, maybe some depots here would be nice. Or turrets. Huh. Oh, this Liberator is so good at killing worker, look at that. I like this Torthrop. But it's right on top of a Liberator, so... Pfft, bad decision here. Oh wow, it kills every single worker there, and there he goes, Widow Mines. Oh no. Oh, that Widow Mine, also juicy. He doesn't get it. And this Orbital Command might die. 24 kills, boom! I would say it's looking good for me here in this game. <laughs> now the Orbital Command is burning. And he's looking quite decimated. Yeah, the Liberator. 
When do you see Liberator killing orbital commands? Huh? When other than on my channel do you see this? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, that was nice. I think that's the last push and then he's dead. I'm right in his face now. Yeah. He tries it, but I don't think he can succeed. There we go. GG! And with that, we are done with this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and good. Hey, oh there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye-bye.